Hey, it's Dr. Jen here. And today I wanted to talk about bladder pain when you're going through benzo withdrawal or if you're in bind, benzodiazepine induced neurological dysfunction. Bladder pain is really pretty common when we are intolerance withdrawal to our benzo or if we're tapering or if we're already off. In fact, a lot of people get misdiagnosed with their bladder pain and doctors tell them that they have um, pelvic floor dysfunction or that they have interstitial cystitis, when in fact that might not be true. I think those are just kind of easy go-to diagnoses, but if a doctor's not educated about the damages and the dangers of benzodiazepines, they might be misdiagnosing you. So it really is important that if you've got bladder issues, that you really do your due diligence and try to work with somebody who understands benzo withdrawal, or at the very least, really make sure that however they're testing you to come up with a diagnosis, that they really are 100% certain with their diagnosis, because often we are told that we have like a bladder infection, a UTI, when in fact we don't. And so many of my clients from around the world suffer with pelvic, with pelvic pain, bladder pain, incontinence, the feeling of urgency, or just the opposite of feeling like, you know, they're just missing the sensation that they, that they need to urinate. So there's a wide spectrum of different types of symptoms that we can have when we're going through benzo withdrawal or bind. But I just want you to know that the, the bladder issues are not, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty common, they're not uncommon. And my own story is when I was in tolerance withdrawal, and I, I didn't know I was in tolerance withdrawal, of course, I saw so many different types of doctors and had so, I had a laundry list, had so many different types of symptoms and none of them ever said, oh, see this, clonazepam that you're taking every night as prescribed? Yeah, it's that. <laughs> Nobody ever said that. But I kept having the sensation of having a UTI. And I would go and get scoped where, you know, you're up on the, you know, on the table with your feet in the stirrups and you got a little tube going up your urethra into your bladder. Very uncomfortable. And the urologist would say, yeah, everything looks inflamed. They would do biopsies, they would test the urine. I mean, they just did everything they could. There was never any bacteria, there was no pathogens. And you know, my doctor just scratched his head like, oh, I don't know what's going on. And I didn't know what was going on either. But of course, I dutifully took their antibiotics, which of course <laughs> didn't help and, and made my benzo withdrawal, my tolerance withdrawal worse. Um, you know, and then eventually, years later, when I was educated about benzo withdrawal, then I figured out, oh, <laughs> all that time with all those bladder issues, that was benzo withdrawal, that was tolerance withdrawal. And I did have urinary uh, frequency when I was going through, especially after my cold turkey, but it wasn't just frequency. It was like I could be out in the garden just doing my thing, do, 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 you know, planting my flowers. And then the next minute, like, I just had to go to the bathroom. I didn't get like a buildup of, yeah, my bladder's getting full. Maybe I'll start thinking about getting to the bathroom. It was like one minute I didn't feel anything. And the next minute, like if I didn't find a bathroom, I was going to wet my pants. So <laughs> for me, it was this real extreme uh, sense of urgency. It would just come on very, very quickly. And there were a few times when I barely made it to the bathroom, I, I have to say. And incontinence is sadly a symptom for some people. So incontinence, um, you know, just the opposite, not feeling like you have to pee, bladder pain, being diagnosed with a UTI when we really don't have a UTI. Now, some people do get a true UTI in benzo withdrawal. I mean, that can happen to, you know, to everybody. Um, but uh, oftentimes we get that label that we have that when in fact there, there is no pathogen. And then we get diagnosed with pelvic floor dysfunction. We get diagnosed with um, you know, like I said, interstitial cystitis. So we need to do our due diligence. 
And that doesn't mean that we just completely ignore anything a doctor tells us. That, that wouldn't be smart. But we need to just not take everything. Um, we, we shouldn't take everything at face value. We really need to do our due diligence, um, get second opinions, or make sure get tests run, especially if a doctor is recommending for you to take a medication that's on the list of things that we know are contraindicated during benzo withdrawal or bind. So I hope this reassures some people that bladder issues are pretty common in benzo withdrawal. Pain, um, incontinence, urgency, frequency, not you know not not being able to to feel like you need to go um you know uti interstitial cystitis pelvic floor dysfunction and i'm trying to think if i've missed any of them but those seem to be like the most of the things that we get diagnosed with and i have to say that once i got off my benzo i never had any more bladder issues once i healed i should say i certainly stopped having all the kind of faults, <laughs> UTI issues, that completely went away. And then that like sudden onset, I've just got to, you know, release my bladder like right now, that went away. And I have to say, you know, I've got, I've got, everything works properly now. <laughs> bladder, bowels, everything. I'm fine. But there was a good chunk of time when my nervous system being in benzo withdrawal slash bind really took a, a hit and I was having issues. So I just want to reassure those that are having issues, you know, go get checked out. And if you do have a pathogen in there, of course, if you need an antibiotic, you need an antibiotic. You might want though, if you do need an antibiotic, let me just say, you might want to tell your doctor no fluoroquinolone. Those are you know, pretty nasty in and of themselves for any type of infection. But people in benzo withdrawal, especially if you're still taking your benzo with your benzo, they can shut down those receptors and put you into a cold turkey. And I do have a client that had bladder issues, um, was given a benzo, and then they were given a fluoroquinolone, and they went into full bore cold turkey because of the fluoroquinolone. So please, 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 please really be careful about the antibiotic that, um, you know, that, that a doctor decides to pr prescribe. Please do your due diligence about all of that. But if you need one, you need one. Please don't, please do not um, ignore a, a true medical situation. But on the other hand, <laughs> do know that a lot of bladder issues present themselves when we are in tolerance withdrawal, when we're tapering, and when we're once off and, and healing. And that can go on for a while. So if you've had bladder issues, I'd be really curious to know what you were diagnosed with or what symptoms you had. And then put in the comments below and share with us, was there anything that helped you? Um, I know that warm baths without Epsom salts in them, because Epsom salts can be rubbing for us, but warm baths helped me when I could get to um, a bathtub. I, um, when I was going through after my cold turkey, I didn't have a bathtub. But when I could go hang out at a friend's house and soak in a warm tub, that brought me some relief, as did heating pads and things like that. So share with us what has helped you. Or share a question if you've got it. I'm here to help. Everyone, please take good care of yourselves and know that I know this is such a hard journey for so many of us, but we really do come to the end of it. We really, truly do. And please just, you know, keep it in your heart, this mantra, I am safe, I am healing, I will recover. One more time, I'm safe, I am healing, I will recover because you're definitely going to get well. So take good care. Till next time.